We're back again with this atrocious two speeds USB tower fan. And today I want to see if we can open it up and take a look inside. It looks like it has all standard shaped screws. Like six Phillips head screws. At least that's something it has going for it. Okay, there's all six screws, and they're cheap self-tapping screws that just go right into plastic, but they are in fact, for whatever it's worth, they are standard size Phillips head screws. And for whatever this is worth, it seems like it comes apart relatively easily. And my speculation was not correct. It's just a bearing up at the top and then the mortar is down at the bottom. It's a very small, looks like a, not even a hobby grade DC motor. At least it's a cheap brushless DC motor. Uh, and this is some kind of super cheap bearing up at the top. There's absolutely no cooling for this motor. Granted, it may not need it, but even if it was something like this, I wonder if they put this on backwards. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it definitely feels like a brushless motor to me. Um, you can see the top of the shaft there. Very simple estate. Whoops. Oh, jeez, there goes the cheap pairing. Well, I guess while this is off, I'll take a look. I can't imagine this is a ball bearing. It doesn't have the weight. No, it's just a sleeve bearing. It's dry as can be. There's no lubrication in there whatsoever. A hump and chunk. Looks like at some point, maybe, they attempted to put some grease on the shaft. Oh, is that, yeah, that's some grease up there. But even that's not going to last. This should be a, a um, lightweight oil on here, not a grease that's going to come up real quick. So the speed mechanism looks like it's just a simple resistor, which probably gets hot and is right next to what's likely flammable plastic so that's kind of disturbing you will just put it out like that instead just a basic switch and then on the other side you have the the uh, DC input terminal connection so it's a super simple super cheap unit you know and and I'm a big fan of simple designs. I think simple designs are good. But I don't think this is a very good design at all. Well, I don't know what we're going to do with this one. Maybe I'll run it for as long as it's willing to run for. Or maybe not. I'm not sure I want to listen to it. But I will give it that it's easy to service. I don't think it'll run enough hours to 
get to the point where it needs to be cleaned. Unless you just live in a dump that's full of dust or something. I don't know. I don't think anything is going to top that stupid no leaf air condition fan. That's just the worst. This, at least it kind of works. It doesn't work satisfactorily, but at least it works. That other thing, oof, that didn't do a dime of good. Well, it's back together, ready to not move any more air. What a junk.